the biggest thing is not to be embarrassed to find out if you have prostate cancer. And I think that's the most important thing to me is to make sure that you understand. It's not an embarrassment to anybody. It's something that you have to do in order to make sure that you'll be around. I have 14 grandkids and I want to be around all of them. You know, when they get to college, I want to be there to say, hey, those are my grandkids. And, and I think that's what I think they have to look at the most is to be around. I think what would be more important than anything a year from now is that we've started a campaign that is about to spread beyond Myrtle Beach that is so entrenched after a year of us talking about it here through campaigns in the World Am over the summer and then in the fall that other cities and other places will be able to start their own Know Your Score campaign and that somehow this will we'll look at this place as a starting place for something that's really, really growing at a good pace. I know there's a lot of work being done around the country and the world by great people. I think Myrtle Beach has a, a real chance to be something very special in that it's a drawing place for men to come and get. And through that we can get everything out to the rest of the country. That would be my hope. I think that, that guys out there that are at risk for prostate cancer and, and, and guys who are, who are getting it and going through treatment, I think it's important for them to see that you know, somebody like Ken who's played 19 uh, seasons in, in Major League Baseball and and uh, if he can come forward and talk about it and be brave enough and have the courage to talk about it and his ordeal and what he's gone through, then others will be able to do so as well. 99% survive from prostate cancer is caught with. The problem is only half of all men in the risk pool, risk pool for prostate cancer get tested. You need to change that because if all of them got tested, most all of them would survive. It wouldn't be that big of a problem. A 10 minute test can save your life. And that's what I hope we get out of it. Prostate cancer is right there with breast cancer. Breast cancer gets a lot more attention because women are smarter than us. It's now, it's time that we went out and we started the yin yang and we started to pay attention to our body. And when you're in there getting your blood test and you're in there talking to your doctor and you're concerned with your health, first, it's a gift to your family, best gift you can give them. And, and second, it's a gift to yourself. Because if you catch it, you'll live a lot longer, a lot happier, and a lot more opportunities.